Alright. Hello, chemistry class. This is just Mr. Wee. Um, so I'm going to be helping uh, specifically the honor students, you guys, with the Hess's Law and Bond Energy uh, Worksheet. So we're just going to go over number one, um, just kind of give you like a format of how these work. It should be a little bit easier than the, the other ones, but it'll give you kind of a good template for how to attack the other uh, problems. So I'm going to kind of go over how I would personally attack it. Okay, so here's what it essentially is. Okay, um, I already uh, rewrote it here so we can start doing work to it. But um, here, the, here's three different reactions. Okay, and they have their own individual um, uh, energy of their reactions that occurs. Right, and essentially what I want to do is I want to manipulate these guys, these three reactions up here, to where I get a net reaction of this guy right here, two C plus H two. Uh, which uh, forms uh, one mole of C2H2, okay? So I have this here. I rewrote everything here. Here's a reaction with its, uh, what they're accompanying um, he, uh, heat energies or reaction of their, um, or heat of their reactions, okay? So here is what I want at the very end, okay? Um, so one rule, one rule. I got one rule essentially here. Whatever is on one side over here, like if it's on the reactant side and on the product side, they'll cancel out, so... What I essentially want to do is I want to start canceling stuff like that's like, let's say I have a CO2 on this side here on the product, and I have a CO2 on this side, I can cancel them out, okay? If I have a, you'll see what that looks like. Okay, so here's the first thing that I noticed though, okay? So at the very end, I have C2H2 as a product, right? Look at where my, look at the reaction with the C2H2. It's not in here. There's no C2H2 here. There's no C2H2 here. But there's a C2H2 in this third reaction here. But it's on the reactant side. So I have to do something. I have to manipulate this reaction to where I can have C2H2 at the very end. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. What I can do is I can switch my products and my reactants. Okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, instead of doing it in red, uh, or I'm sorry, purple felt tip, I do my modifications with my pencil. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rewrite it down here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these guys first. I'm going to do H2O is now going to go on the left side. And this 2CO2 is going to go on the left side as well. And then now my products are going to go over here. So I'm going to have a C2H2, right, plus 5 halves O2. Okay, and there's a consequence for doing that. Because I'm switching these guys over, the reaction that's associated with, or I'm sorry, the, the heat that's, the energy that's associated with this reaction, it will have to change as well. There will be a modification made accompanying that change that you made. So you know how you flipped it here? Guess what? What are you going to do to the energy here in order to compensate for that flip? Since you flipped it, guess what? That sign's going to change. It's no longer negative. It's going to be, you're going to switch the sign. It's going to be now positive. 1301.0 kilojoules. Okay, and that's it. And that's good because what I want at the end is I just want one mole of C2H2, and so far we're looking pretty good. Okay, so that's how I'd first attack it. I would see uh, whoever I have at the kind of in the beginning um, is a reactant. If I see it's on the other side, I would just flip the stuff around. Okay, so that's the first step. Okay, what else do we see in here? Um, I'm gonna go to two C's. Oh wait, look here. Are any of the do any of the reactions have a carbon in here? Uh, no, no straight carbons in here. How about here? Not really. It's just H's and O's. Okay, with the H2O. Here I have a carbon, and guess what? It's on the left side. But how many are there? There are two. That's that's what I want at the very end. Okay, so on your worksheet, it's gonna look like this. There's the reaction that I want at the end. Okay, I just decided to write it on green paper. So over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this reaction. You see how there's only one? If you if you look at the coefficient right now, there's only one C in the front. There's only one O in the front. There's um, there's only um, one mole of CO2 right here. Think about what I have to do to get two Cs. Okay, think, think, think. What I can do is I can multiply um, that one C by two. But if you do that, you have to multiply everything in the reaction by two. So here's what I mean. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to have to multiply this whole thing by 2. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this guy down here. So look, now look what I have. I have 
two C's now, right? Because I multiply the two to the one. How about over here? I have one O two, two times one. It's gonna be two O twos. One more. There's a CO two. There's only one, but since I multiply everything by two, I'm gonna have two CO twos. Two moles of CO two. Whoops. Sorry about that. Two moles of CO two. Okay. So we're good. But well, hold on. There's a consequence to that. Just like before, whatever I did to my reaction, I kind of have to do to my the energy of the reaction. So over here, guess what? I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 2. Essentially just doubling the reaction, uh, the, the heat of the reaction here. So if I do that, H. And by the way, I'm not doing any calculations until the very end. Um, well, like in, in terms of adding all this stuff up at the end, okay? But... I'm going to go sequentially. So if I multiply this guy, I'm going to go sequentially by each heat and each energy. So right now I'm going to go th here sequentially. I multiply 2 times negative 393. So let's see. 2 times 393.5. So it's 787, but remember it's negative. So it's negative 787, okay? negative 787 kilojoules, all right, so we're good so far, all right, okay, let's see, oh, and finally, just look here, look at my H2, how many H2s do I have, okay, I only have one here, and look what side it's on, is it the product or a reactant, it is a reactant, oh, look here, do I have any reaction that has an H2 as a reactant, I'm looking at this guy right here, right there. And guess what? There's only one H2, and what I want at the end is an H2, just one H2. So you got to ask yourself, do I need to do anything else to this reaction? Do I have to multiply? Do I have to flip it? No, I do not, okay? Not for this guy, okay? So because I want one mole of H2 here, I'm not going to do anything to this guy. I'm just going to leave him as he is, H2. So I'm just going to carry him down one half. O2, sorry about that, it's kind of messy. And then I have H2 on this side, and that's it. I'm just going to carry down his heat. And what is that? That is uh, negative 285. Oh, okay. 285. Oh, sorry. Kilojoules. All right. Oh, man. 285 kilojoules. It's right a little bit softer. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to get, we have to make sure that our reaction is going to come to a net of two C's plus H2, which forms C2H2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if there's any guy, there's any chemical species here that's on both sides as I add them up. So give, let me give you an example. I see one mole of H2O on the reactant side. Do I have any H2O on this side? In fact, I have one. This is kind of like a check at this point. I have one H2O here. I have one H2O here. Guess what? They're going to cancel out. The net reaction will not have any H2Os. Okay. What else cancels out? I have two moles of CO2. Are there any two moles of CO2 over here? <gasps> yes, there are. Okay. How about C2H2s? Are there any C2H2s on this side? No. I'm sorry. There are no C2H2s on this side. There are on this side. So my net reaction is going to have C2H2 as a product. Okay. This one's a little bit trickier. It says 5 halves O2. Okay. I have a half of O2 on the reactant side, but what about the two O2s? If you can use your imagination, use a little bit of math, you guys will see that 2 as a fraction can be 4 over 2 because I want my denominator to be 2, right? So I can add these guys together. So if I did that, I had a denominator two, and I still want to uh, represent this uh, this coefficient as the whole number two. It would have to be four over two as a fraction. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's gonna be four over two, and finally we have one half o two. If you didn't understand, please you know, just rewind and see what I'm I'm talking about. So it's four over two plus one half. That should give me a total. Okay, if I add these up. These should total up to about five halves. Okay, so if these total up to about five halves, please trust me on this. You can check on your calculator. Okay, 
what this does is this will completely cancel out because any guys on the reactant side can kind of bunch up together. They can combine, okay? But if they're on the opposite sides, we have products and reactants, they can cancel out, okay? Since we have five halves here, and we have five halves here of O2, they all cancel out perfectly, okay? So how about the two Cs? Are there any Cs on this side? Mm, not quite, just by itself, I mean. There's no carbons by itself. And any H2s on this side? No, okay? So at the very end, I should have two Cs plus H2. And it should go to C2H2. And then you got to ask yourself, is that what I want at the very end? Yes. So this checks out. Okay, so finally, the math part of it is everything that we did before, how we modified the numbers, like we multiplied this guy by um, 2. I'm sorry, we multiplied this guy by 2. And I kind of flipped the sign, basically. I'm just going to kind of like show you what the order of operation is. I essentially just like flipped it. I made an opposite. When we talk about opposites, we add a negative sign. So I ne like have a negative sign of negative 13, 0, 1, right? Now it's positive, okay? Now I just add them together. Just like how I do with the reactions here, I add everything together to see what I get at the end. Same here. Okay, so I'm going to add these two together. I'm going to do it off camera. <clears throat> oh, and lo and behold, magically, my uh, <clears throat> heat of the reaction, okay, it makes me mad, should come out to about, let's see, 228. 0.2 kilojoules, okay? That should be your final answer. So go ahead and check your answer out and uh, try this format and this template on the other problems, okay? And I'll see you guys around. Good luck.